and welcome back to my channel and to a new video if you're new here my name is Nicola and I make lifestyle videos and today I've got a Primark haul for you um, I'm feeling like a bit of a hero because today is Wednesday it is half past eight in the morning um, I'm going to do this before I start work but it's not even the Wednesday that you're watching this it's the Wednesday before I've already got a video for today and I'm video I'm filming next week's video which is not like me at all. Usually it gets to Tuesday, I'm like, oh, I haven't filmed anything. So, um, so yeah, I'm feeling like I'm winning at life today. Uh, I mean, you would think that, you know, I would have now, I've now got nearly two weeks to think about another video for the ne next Wednesday. Chances are, I'll forget all about it and then it'll get to the Tuesday before and I'm like, oh my God, I haven't filmed anything. Anyway, by the by, I have a Primark call for you. So, um, we went to Primark, well we went to Milton Keynes shopping on Sunday, me and my daughter Phoebe um, who is 12 and we needed a couple of outfits. She needed some clothes to wear for, um, she got a drama festival this weekend so she needed something pretty to wear <laughs> for the drama festival um, and she also needed um, a costume um for a, a song and dance group that she's in she needed some clothes for that we were given like a color palette to work to and she could just wear anything within that color palette so we thought we'd go to primark and have a look round. she's not really a big primark fan which is a bit devastating to be quite honest because primark is a better um price shall i say than the shops that she likes to go to um but we did manage to find her a costume in primark um for the group that she's in although We've since been told that the top might not be quite the right colour, but anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute. And then um, we found her address elsewhere, but I will show you that as well. Everything that, um, I did get some things for myself too, and I will try those on, um, but everything that I got for her was from the adult section anyway. So I thought I would show you because we're all adults here mostly, um, and you might be interested to see what we got. Um, there was one thing that we did get that I haven't included in here because she's worn it and it's in the wash and that is a pair of pyjamas. However, I wouldn't recommend them. Um, she doesn't really like them. They were only £4, I think. Oh no, actually they weren't. They were more than that. I think they were a tenner. Anyway, she'd already worn them. Um, but um, they, they're like a vest and shorts, but the vest comes really, like cuts really here, um, which for a 12 year old isn't isn't ideal um and she said oh i don't really like this um so uh, i'm not sure she'll wear them again which is a shame but anyway i thought i won't show you those but we did get them as well anyway i'll shut up and let's just get into the haul right i'll just drag things out as they come so this is the um top we got for her group um now i think this is exactly the right color that was on the um the color palette we were sent however we've been told it's not so i'm going to get her to take it in and show her teacher just to see because to me, it looks exactly like that. And the picture she sent, maybe it, it came up a different colour. I don't know. Anyway, it's this um, purple ribbed bodysuit. Is that? Yeah, that's the front. Um, she actually has one of these in black. I have one of these in white, um, which I wear under things. I don't think I'd ever wear it as a bodysuit. I said, well, actually, I might. I don't know. Um, anyway, we got it in 2XS for her, which is four to six. Um, and it, it was four pound in the sale. Um, so that was a bit of a bargain. They had all sizes and I actually really like this. This would look really nice with a pair of like white trousers um, in the summer. So I'm, I, and she's got actually a really nice pair of white um, like cargo trousers. So this would look really nice with those. So she may well wear it anyway, even if she doesn't use it for the dance, but for four pound, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so I got that for her. And then to go with that, and these have been deemed suitable um we bought these cargo trousers i have to keep calling them cargos and not combats when i was in the 90s <laughs> i don't know how old um in my teens um these were definitely called combats combat trousers but they're cargos now um and these are the ones we got for her again these are from the adult section they had all sizes and i actually would quite like them for myself um however um and i'll talk about a bit more about this later um primark do not do clothes for tall people they don't do clothes for people with long legs and it's very frustrating um everything is so short there was a pair of jeans in the primark edit range um which were gorgeous if you've got normal length legs <laughs> um they're like a wide leg jean they were beautiful i mean so lovely i think they were 20 pounds um they're like a dark blue denim and just gorgeous and I 100% they would have been in my basket in a second but they were 
just too short. I didn't try them on, but I held them up against me and they were ridiculously short. However, there was a lady there and she went, oh, I love these jeans. She was talking to her children and she put them up against herself. She went, oh, I think they'll be a bit long. <laughs> I was like, oh, I wish I had that problem. So we were laughing and I said, oh, if only they could do something just in between, or maybe they need to do a short and a long length. Um, I've seen people say, talk about Primark jeans and that they do a longer length, but I've never ever seen anything other than a regular in Primark in, the, well, in any of the ones that I've been to anyway. So um, yeah, if you see the lovely jeans in the Primark edit range and, they, and you've got, they've got them in a long, please buy them for me and I'll, I'll pay you back. <laughs> um, anyway, these are the ones we got for her and I think they're lovely. They are cuffed at the end. Um, I just wanted something for her that wasn't too restrictive. I don't, I don't think she's gonna have to dance very much, um, but I just thought these would be comfy on stage. Um, and yeah, really nice. They were 20 pounds. We got them in a 2XS, which again is a four to six, because she's tiny, um, and they fit her perfectly. So um, yeah, I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't get them for myself because she would absolutely die if I, <laughs> if she wore something that, or if I wore something that she had. However, these I 100% would wear myself. Um, in fact, she picked out the, in my last Primark haul, I had that like rugby style top, um, and she saw it hanging up in the shop and she went, oh, I like that. Can I have this? I went, are you serious? She said, yeah. I said, but I have that. She went, oh God, no. And walked off. I think she'd forgotten that I had it. Anyway. Right, next up, I'm going to show you something that isn't actually from Primark, but I want to show it to you because I bought some bits from Primark to go with it. Um, and so they won't make sense until you've seen this. Um, so basically we, as I said, we needed a dress for her to wear to um, a drama festival. I also wanted to get something that would be useful other times. I didn't want to get something just for that because it's, it's one day. Um, and we went to Hollister, and which is like her favorite shop, and they had lots of dresses. She tried a couple on and this is the one she chose. Um, and it's very pretty. It is this, um, let me just turn the brightness down a little bit. Oh, the dog. There we go. Right, it is this dress, um, it is, about just above the knee on her it's got like a little frill it's got like a crossover on the front I don't know whether you can see that it's got like here this frilly bit that comes across on the front um it's just pretty for a, a young girl i think it's really nice i mean obviously they do this these are adults um sizes we've got this in a small i believe yes yeah, small now it was 49 pounds Oh, I was when I mean, she said, "Oh, mommy, I love this. I love this." And I looked at the price. I was like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's forty-nine pounds." Um, however, when I went to the to the till, she said, "Oh, are you a member?" And I am a member. Um, the sun's gone in now, and I am a member. However, I put in my email address. She goes, "Oh no, it's not registering." So obviously, when I joined, I'd signed up because I know I, I, I am a member because I bought some stuff online for Phoebe for last summer um, for our holiday. So um, I obviously put in a different email address. Um, anyway, she said, oh, you're not a member, so you can sign up and you'll get £10 off today. <laughs> Bargain. <laughs> so this was £39. So if you want to buy anything in Hollister, 100% sign up because you get £10 off your first purchase. Um, so for 30, I mean, even for £39, it was a lot for this because generally I think in Primark you can get very similar things um, for half the price um however it is pretty she loved it and it will do and she will wear it a lot um it's got at the back it's stretchy so it's got this you know stretchy material and that and it will actually all round so that goes around the middle um so we bought her that and that she was very pleased and that was a bit of a treat however because it's for this festival it i mean it's not revealing as in but it's not really suitable to stand on stage in these strappy straps. <laughs> um, I, w I wanted something with sleeves, ideally. Um, so I wanted to buy her a cardigan to go with it. And in my head, I knew exactly what I wanted. Um, and I went, we went back to Primark because we'd already been in and I found this and it's absolutely perfect. It's a li probably a little bit longer than, um, than is ideal, but it is absolutely fine. It's a perfect color. Um, so it goes with it perfectly. Um, and um, I also would have preferred like a lower neck. So one that sort of just went down there, but it doesn't matter. She's tried it on with the dress and it looks really pretty. And that with the dress is perfect for the drama festival. Again, as I say, 
on it on the dress on its own probably wouldn't have been appropriate but with the with a cardigan over the top is perfect um so this cardigan was um six pounds and it's an extra small i don't suppose she'll wear it again <laughs> um it's not really her thing but it's fine for what we need it for so um so that's that so cardigan and very expensive dress um so those are almost all the things that we needed to get for her i also needed to get um some shoes to go with that dress um they're not supposed to wear like trainers trainers but i think they just don't want them to wear like dirty old trainers that you'd wear to school um apologies for the cut the brightness on this the sun keeps going in and out and in and out um so I said, well, what you need is a pair of like light trainers or a pair of pumps or something. Um, I found a perfect pair in Primark that um, would look lovely. They had like blue on, but she didn't like them. Um, so we got these. Um, so they are just white pumps, if you like. And then on this side, they've got little gold dots, like a quilted effect. Um, and yeah, she likes those and they'll look really pretty with the dress. Um, she doesn't need to wear smart shoes, but just something that's clean and looks nice um, and not too clumpy. Um, these we got in a five. Um, they're plenty big enough for her um, and they were £14. So, yeah, I was really pleased with those. So those were her two outfits. Um, we then went and found it went to the the home section um and found a few bits in there she wanted um a cushion cushions for her bed so if you've seen like recently i did her room made over her bedroom um and um we couldn't find any cushions that she liked for her bed so we just didn't bother in the end so we'll, we'll get some as and when we see them um so we were looking in primark and she picked up a couple that were like 12 pounds and uh i said well do you really like them she went no not really <laughs> i was like we'll put them back then um and then we found this one which was not very expensive at all. I think this was, the price has been taken off. I think it was in the sale. I think it was four pounds. Hang on, let me see if I've got the receipt. Right, cushion. Yes, four pounds. Uh, for this very fluffy heart cushion, and she, which she thought was lovely. I, I wish they'd had it in like a green as well um so one of these and a green one would have been perfect for her room um but anyway they didn't but this is lovely and as i say it was in the sale it was four pounds so that was also a bargain then she wanted i will get to my stuff in a minute she wanted these tops um I, i'm having a battle i did never did i think at the age of 12 i'd be battling with my daughter saying you're not going out in that um however we are having those battles on a daily basis whether it be what she's wearing for school or what she's wearing to go to um the pub when we go to the pub quiz or what she's wearing to go to a friend's or to go shopping <laughs> the only thing i don't have to battle with is what she wears to dance because i don't care what she wears to dance um and it's fairly like standard the stuff that she wears to dance however she likes to dress like she dresses for dance for everything else so crop tops and tight leggings and um i mean she looks fabulous in everything she wears however i'm trying to explain to her that you know sometimes less more is more is better option <laughs> i was gonna say less is more but that's not that's not it. it's exactly the opposite of that more is better um however she wanted these tops and i said well it's fine you can wear them they are actually supposed to be like underwear i think or pajamas i said but it's fine you can wear them as long as you wear a shirt or something over the top um you know when she's 15 16 i won't mind so much but she's 12 so anyway she liked this one um i actually quite like these and they're nice for bed she has actually bought a white one recently which was for bed um but this um is not she wants to wear it out um the color's not really showing very well on the camera but it's um like this there we go that's better um checkerboard effect um it's a ribbed um crop top and um, it is lined on the inside, so it's got like some support. Um, actually, it is slightly bigger than I would normally get. This is an extra small, which is six to eight. She does, she's usually a two XS, but they didn't have any. Um, so, but it's fine. She's worn it at home, this one, um, and it's fine. But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not looking forward to it when she wants to wear it out. Um, and then she also got this one, which is a bit more underwear-like, actually. Um, so we'll see if we can allow this one out of the house <laughs> but this is also extra small but again with a with a shirt over the top i don't really have a problem it's just on its own maybe a little too much for a 12 year old um 
and these were £4.50 for these. They had them in all different colours um, and styles. And as I say, she has got a white one which she does wear in bed. Um, so, yeah, I thought they were nice anyway. Um, and then, that wasn't from my mark. Right. <clears throat> right. Next up, um, I bought this tablecloth. Now, I've seen lots of people buy this tablecloth in Primark hauls on YouTube. Um, it is this sort of white and then sagey green colour. I hope you can see that because the colour is being slightly washed out because of the brightness. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, that is the colour of my kitchen. So um, I'm really excited to put it on the table. However, they only do a 140 by 180 and my table is 180. Um, so it's going, it's not going to hang over the edges. <laughs> it's just going to come to the end, but that's fine. I think it'll look okay. Um, I usually buy, well, I've got a couple of um, tablecloths that I use in other times of the year, I guess, that are like white clean ones. So not like PVC wipe clean, but they are like a material, but you can wipe clean. I know um, next do them. And I've got like a pumpkin-y one for autumn. Um, however, once you've washed them, they don't wipe clean quite as, off, as, as easy. I think you're not supposed to wash them. However, sometimes they get too much on them and you can't just wipe clean them. Anyway, this will be good because I can just stick it in the washing machine and um, I probably need to iron it once I've washed it. Um, but I thought it was lovely anyway. So I think that will brighten up the kitchen and our table. Oh, um it basically when we had our floor sanded we also had our table sanded and if you saw my home tour recently um the uh they didn't do a very good job of the floor and they didn't do a very good job of the table either <laughs> they sanded it and then varnished it and it has been sticky and horrible ever since um so it doesn't matter how much i clean it or scrub it it's got a sticky tacky feel so i need to sand it again and varnish it myself um which you know, I keep saying, I'll do that in the summer. I'll do that in the summer. Everything, I'll do it in the summer. Um, but I probably will when I can take it outside and be guaranteed that it can dry outside. Um, but yeah, until then, I can put a nice tablecloth on there, um, which will look very pretty. I also bought some tea towels um, that match that tablecloth. So similar colours, the sagey green and the white. Um, I've still got my Christmas tea towels hanging up in the kitchen because I like the colour of them. Um, but... Um, I can put one of these white ones and a sagey green one which will look lovely and then I can um, use the others. <laughs> um, the, I like, I prefer these like terry toweling tea towels, I think they dry things a lot quicker, sorry a lot better than um, like the, just the plain cotton ones, I just prefer the feel of these and yeah I think they're better. So I bought those, oh, oh, hang on the, ta the tablecloth, I didn't say how much it was, the tablecloth was £10 and the tea towels were 3 three pounds and then last from Primark oh no I bought a couple of napkins as well um, because we go through napkins so quickly um, I bought these were a pound each um, I usually get napkins from Tesco but I saw these and thought they were nice very summery um, sort of pinks and greens so again they'll go nicely in my kitchen uh, both the same um, they did have some other ones but the, I like these ones the best so they're a pound for 24 napkins and then I bought a couple of things for myself, which I will try on. Um, I have actually tried on the trousers, but I'll talk about those in a minute. I've not tried on this top, but it's a t-shirt, so it should fit fine. Um, it is this. So these were from this Primark edit range. So you can tell that range by the, the tags. So a little more fancy. Um, now, our Primarks in Northampton, we've got two. We've got one at Rushton Lakes and one in town. Um, they do not stock the edit range. Um, and it's quite frustrating actually because this I think this is probably more sustainable is it is it better it says Primark cares yes yeah, 50% sustainable viscose so I would rather buy you know things from this range if you like however um they don't do it so I, obviously in um Milton Keynes they do and they've got a lovely section there so I picked up this t-shirt because it is such good quality it is thick like thick I don't mean thick as in it's like a jumper, but it's a good quality thick t-shirt. So you know it'll wash well, it'll look nice. Um, I did buy a t-shirt recently, a white one. It's got, um, what's it got on the front? I was gonna say USA, it doesn't say that at all. I don't know, it's got three letters on the front. It's from Tesco, <laughs> like American slow, I, I, I can't remember. Anyway, it's got three letters on the front. I really like that, but I wanted something more plain. Um, and this is completely plain. It, it is not actually white, it is cream. Um, so just off-white, and this look really nice, either casually with like 
leggings and trainers or whatever or um or you know with jeans and a blazer it would look really nice i got it in the medium um because it seems very oversized and it was 12 pounds which it, and even 12 pounds for a good quality t-shirt i think is, is really good um is a really good price so um i will try that on for you um and let you know what that looks like right this is the t-shirt and it is so lovely it's really good length um so comes down there um i wouldn't have wanted to go any smaller actually because i would I like it kind of a little bit oversized, but um, I think even like with a pair of jeans or even with a smart pair of trousers, this would look really nice. It's such good quality. Um, you could turn up the sleeves if you wanted to a bit to make them a little bit shorter, um, but it's fine as it is. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. Um, for 12 quid, I think it's a bargain and hopefully it will wash really well and will stay lovely. I just have to make sure I don't drop anything down it. Um, but yeah, I think this is lovely. And then finally, I got these trousers. These are also from the Primark Edit range. Um, they were £20. Um, and I, they are these beige, uh, wide leg, um, smart. I think they had, now did they have a jacket? I think they may have had a jacket that went with them and shorts. So you could buy like a full set. Um, and I looked at them and I hummed and hard. Um, I, I sized up because I always size up in bottoms in Primark. So I got a 16. Um, they have got these nice pockets on the back. I just thought they looked ever so smart. I've got a few um, like work things coming up in the next couple of months, um, which we don't have to be super smart, but you like to, you know, I don't like to wear jeans. Um, so that t-shirt and these would look so nice um, with a pair of smart trainers. Um, as well so I got these however um, you'll see in the clip well in fact I won't tell you now I'll talk about it when I try them on and you can see what they look like um, but yeah um, I'm not 100% sure about them but I'll uh, cut to me trying them on and I'll talk about them there right I've angled you down a bit because um, I'm tall and you can't see my feet but these are the trousers now they look they're okay like let me should even I need to maybe even go down a bit more because let, hang on let me try this there we go right so they're okay lengthwise they're not you know I would perhaps like them a little bit longer um however I'm pulling them down at the waist so as I say I've got these in a 16 um they are not loose <laughs> um now I know I've put on a few pounds and I'm definitely trying to lose um a little bit but as a 60 I mean I'm in all of my other clothes, like my, my trousers from Nex, everything, they're a 14. Um, these are obviously supposed to be high-waisted, so you bring them right up here. Generally, because I like length, I buy a bigger size and then I wear them, like, a little bit further down. But I can't. Look, I've got all my chub hanging out at the top. Um, I can't pull them down, so I would need to get an 18. Now, I know it doesn't matter what size you get, as long as your clothes fit. However, I refuse to buy an 18, I just won't. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm gonna obviously lose, try and lose a little bit of weight. I mean, they're fine, but they do, they sit kind of, they, they, they gape a little bit here because they are, they are quite tight. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna keep them because I do love them, I think if I, like this as an outfit this t-shirt i can still tuck it in no problem but this t-shirt with these i think and a pair of white trainers will look really nice however and a, you know even a, a blazer of some sort i don't know um but yeah they're not quite as long as i would like and um yeah they are tighter around here than i thought they would be i mean they fit fine if they had perfect length then I wouldn't have an issue with them. They are, if they're okay. However, they're not. They're not quite long enough. That, do you know what I mean? If I couldn't wear heels with them, um, because they'd be flapping around. Um, so I'm just not sure. I'm going to keep them, um, and hopefully, if I lose a few pounds, um, they will hang a little bit lower, and then I will be more happy with them. Um, I said I was never going to do that. Buy things that don't fit, and say I'm going to fit into them. But I am, um, because uh, I am. <laughs> and that is what it is um but yeah so i would say definitely size up if you're going to get these um, and if you're long-legged like me then maybe size up twice um i could take them back and get an 18 i just really don't want to 
I don't want to. Nothing wrong with being an 18. I just don't want to be one. So um, I, yeah, I like them, but I need to fit into them better, I think. So that was everything I got from Primark. I did buy one other thing. Um, I went to TK Maxx. I actually bought myself some sunglasses. I haven't got those, so they're very nice. They're just sunglasses. Um, but I also got this for Phoebe, which she was absolutely delighted with, so I thought I would show you. Um, she wanted, well, she bought some eyelash curlers the other week. I think, did she get them from Primark? I'm not sure. Um, but um, I saw these, I was in the queue to get my sunglasses, and I saw these, and I picked them up for her because I thought they were lovely. And there were these eyelash curlers, and they are from um, Skinny Dip, which I think if you're a teenager, it's quite cool. Um, it's like the place to buy stuff. Um, and they, they've got these, can you see, I can't get them out of the box. They've got um, these sort of um, gel type handles. Let me see if I can get it out. I'll have to break the box. She, she'll hate me. There we go. So they've got these sort of mint green, like plasticky handles with like glitter in. And then the, the bit that you put your eyelashes in is also a mint green um, and they actually feel quite good quality the ones she got were a bit rubbish um, so um, she was really chuffed that I got her those so um, they come with a little thing to keep them I don't think you need to keep that on them though there we go um, so yeah I bought those for her and as I say I got myself some sunglasses but they are downstairs actually no they're not they're in my car <laughs> um, so that is everything I got on our little shopping spree so I hope you liked this haul if you did please leave me a comment down below let me know what you liked the best um, and I look forward to seeing you next time thank you bye told me more than once to show you my intention my brain gets blocked at times but now somehow I'll give you my attention